What's going on guys? This is Z, Z, our cinema, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Recap Saturdays. Remember to leave your guys' opinions in the comment section down below. With that out of the way, let's get right to it. In our first bit of news, we have a very controversial one. According to a veteran skier, Christy Liskin, no gamer in the world deserves an X Game medal. She also said that X Game medal should be earned through blood, sweat, and tears. And I have to say that I agree and disagree with her on some points. Let me explain. I agree that pro gamers shouldn't get X game medals because I don't believe playing a video game is a quote unquote sport. When I think of X games, I think of extreme sports. And to me, I don't think esports is an extreme sport at all. So I don't think competitive gaming fits in with X games. Unless X games decides to spin off their own gaming brand, of course. Now this is where I call BS though. Now, I may be getting things twisted, but Christy basically said that metal should only be earned through blood, sweat, and tears. Now, I'm not into esports, nor do I actively follow the scene, but I know for a fact that being a pro gamer is not as easy as it sounds. Sure, pro gamers might not get injured like pro athletes, but they still pour in a lot of time and effort. There have been countless stories where pro gamers dedicate their entire life on studying a game and getting their skills to be the best they can be. To say that pro gamers can't gain medals because they don't earn them through blood, sweat, and tears is a bad opinion. And again, I don't think of pro gaming as a sport, but still, players that are good should get the recognition they deserve. Let's move to our next story. And oh yeah, it's been confirmed that Bethesda is going to have a 2016 E3 briefing. Now I have to say, I am pretty excited to see Bethesda return to E3. Especially since they said last year that they might not be a briefing this year. That incredible 2015 briefing was probably one of the best things that could happen to E3 in a long time. Now I'm hoping we get even more surprises for E3 2016. But I have to ask, what's left for Bethesda to announce? They already announced games like Doom and Dishonored 2, so what's next? I think it may be Skyrim, which would be pretty awesome if they did that. Wink wink Bethesda, wink wink. In our next bit of news, Sony is bringing back voting for free with PlayStation Plus. Hooray! Are the games they are offering major production games? Eh. Meh. Okay, okay, so these games aren't that big deals. But still, some of these games look pretty good. We've got games like Action Heck, Assault Android Cactus, and Bro Force. I have to say this selection looks really good this time around. I'm stuck on deciding whether I want Bro Force or Action Heck. I've seen gameplay from both and they look really fun. I will say this though, please Sony do this more often. The last time you did voting was in August. That is way too long to be doing this voting thingy. Do the voting thingy more often, please Sony, please. Alrighty, I want to talk about a new World War II game called Battalion 1944. Now I'm really excited to see this game. I think that most of us agree that all these futuristic FPS's are starting to get pretty stale. There are just so many on the market now that fans are I think that fans are starting to really dislike them. So going back to World War II might add a breath of fresh air to the genre. I personally cannot wait to see this game in action. I love World at War and I hope this new game will have the same feel. So yeah, I'm pretty excited to see how this game will play out. Now we have a bit of Rocket League news. Someone was able to get out of the map and explore the world outside the stadium on one of the maps. I have to say I love it when these types of glitches are found. I don't know what's fascinating about getting outside the game's limit, but it just is. The world looked all weird and, and interesting of course, with some messy textures. And the next bit of news is that Rocket League is FINALLY coming to Xbox One. I'm really happy that this game is reaching almost all platforms. This game is extremely fun and I'm really happy that this game is almost on Xbox. This game is such a blast with friends and I highly recommend you guys pick this one up because it is so much worth it. And this is a quick bit of news, Need for Speed Most Wanted is free for PC. You have to download it off Origins but still, a free game is a free game. Though I wish we could have picked this up on consoles for free too, but whatever, this game is still free. And even more free game news, hooray, right? Welp, there's a catch. If you pre-order Fire Kai Primal, you'll get Valiant Hearts for free. So this is actually pretty good. Valiant Hearts is a good game and this bonus is something that I'd like to see developers do more. Personally, I'm not going to order Far Cry Primal, but this is still an awesome deal if you're looking forward to this game. Okay, that seems to wrap up this week's episode of Recab Saturdays. 
Thanks for stopping by and have an awesome day.